What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this uh, video. This is a video for my educational uh, playlist. Um, so yeah, in this video we'll talk about going long and going short. Um, uh, a lot of people still have questions about this, people who join the uh, Signal group for example. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick video on, on explaining what it is because going long or going short is practically just buying or selling uh, a token or it's uh, you could compare it more with like saying that the price will go up which is going long or buying as I said uh, or saying that the price will drop down like it is short so I'll actually show it to you but first a quick explanation of what it actually means um, they are derivatives on most exchanges you can find it under derivatives and that is because you buy a contract derived from a specific crypto all right so you can trade derivatives on Bitcoin for example if you then go long, you buy the contract to buy, if that makes any sense. So if you go long at, for example, 21,000, then you buy the contract that you are allowed to buy at 21,000. So if the price goes up, you're in profit because you can buy at a lower price. If you're selling short, you buy a contract to sell at a certain price. So for example, with Bitcoin, you, buy a, you go short from 22,500, the price drops down, you're in profit because you are still allowed to sh sell from a higher place. That's basically what it is, right? You're buying contracts, uh, which are derived, so derivatives, from a specific crypto. So if we actually uh, see that in, uh, in, in, I'm taking a look at Binance because I know that it's, it's the biggest exchange, but I use Bybit to trade. Uh, there's a link down in the description if you want to sign up. Um, right now, I wanted to show you, I mean, it, it looks very intimidating at first, but to be honest, there are a lot of things which you don't need to take a look at. Um, usually, if you go long or short, you also use leverage so that you can trade with more uh, money than that you actually have by uh, putting up collateral. So then you can also get liquidated if the price drops down too much uh, and you're, for example, trading with a 10x leverage. So that means that, for example, if you have $100, you're allowed to trade with $1,000. But if the trade then goes the wrong way and you're down 100 and you're down like 10% in that trade, then you get liquidated and you use your whole $100. So it's risky. I'm not saying you should do that, uh, but usually that's also what you have while trading, um, while trading short or long. You also trade with leverage a lot of the times. You don't have to. Here you can see it up here. For most exchanges, it's the same. Um, but you can also just put the leverage at 1x. Then you just trade with the money you have. Um, but all right. So the first thing you do, just here, you have a lot of perpetual and then you have futures, all kind of things. Just stick with USDT perpetual. Perpetual, you're basically trading futures, which means that uh, you buy a contract and at a certain point it gets uh, the contract is over and then you're either in profit or in losses. That's how it works with stocks. With crypto, you trade perpetuals and then the, the futures just go on and on. So basically you're just trading with no limit. All right. So perpetual is just a technical term. And USDT is if you use leverage, that's why I wanted to explain it. Then if you trade USDT perpetuals, you're trading futures with no end date where you put up collateral in USDT. So basically you trade in USDT, like Bitcoin versus USDT, then you buy in USDT. And if you use leverage, you also put up collateral uh, in USDT. And if you have any questions, I want to make sure that you ask them down in the comments. I'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible. Um, but all right, so you just want to stick with USDT perpetual. And then, for example, if you go to Bitcoin USDT, if you want to uh, open a long order, you can also see it here, buy long or sell short, which you basically do. If you use a limit order for the price where you want to enter, for example, I want to buy at 22,000. So that basically means that it's a limit order. So when the price hits that level, 22,000, then you, then you, then the contract goes into, um, is activated and that allows you to buy from 22,000. If it hits that price, you cannot say it right now. I mean, you would be in profit instantly, right? Uh, so if it hits that price, then you the, the contract is open and you're allowed to buy from 22,000 or you have to buy from 22,000, to be honest, because if the price drops down, you have to buy at a higher price than what the normal price is. So you're in a loss. You say how much you want to uh, trade. I don't have any money in here, uh, but you say how much you want to trade and uh, and it's open. Um, I would advise you to use a take profit and a stop loss. So take profit is basically um, is basically a level where you want to take your profits. 
So that's in a long that's higher than the entry, of course, and a stop loss. So for example, 21,500, that's the level where you take your losses, which you should always have with correct risk management. And the same goes for, for shorting. Um, then, for example, you would say 23,000. And then if the price hits that level, you are allowed to sell it at that level. So if the price drops down, you are in profit. And take profit, stop loss works the same way. Take profit level is the level where you take profits automatically. Stop loss is the level where you uh, are stopped out and you have a loss uh, automatically. But it also prevents you from losing even more. So that's a quick guide on how to go long, how to go short. It's a difficult story altogether to, to uh, explain to you. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.